So many, many years ago, I made my very first printable using good old Microsoft Word. I was really frustrated that I couldn't find any cute um, notepads and stationery, so I decided to make my own and made a simple checklist in Word, and from there it's just totally blown out of proportion. I've gone and made thousands of printables. Um, however, I progressed onto more sophisticated, proper design software, i.e. Photoshop. Now, a lot of my readers have emailed me all the time saying, I don't want to pay for Photoshop, I just want to make printables for my personal use. I have Word, how do I make a printable? I can do that in Word, right? So I'm going to do a couple of tutorials showing you how, yes, you can do that in Word. Just keep in mind that I really only recommend it for personal use. It's really not a sophisticated, um, it's not like a proper design software. So be aware there are limitations in what you can make, but it is, like probably already installed on your computer so you don't have to pay anything extra and you're probably already familiar with some of the tools as well. So I'm going to do a series of tutorials in this one it will just be the overview of how to set up your page if you're going to make a printable. So first things first I like to zoom out so I can see the whole page oops, in one view and I like to have it in print layout mode. Now if you click this here you can just type it in I prefer 56% and then the other thing that I like to have turned on is my navigation menu. So if you press Control F on your keyboard, it'll bring up this navigation menu. You might have used this before when you're doing um, a report, and you know you can jump to different sections of it that way. However, when making a printable, I would really only use it for the pages view because then you get a preview of what the page is and you can see them all laid out um, that way. So in terms of page size, which is going to be really important that you choose that before you start making any printables go to your layout menu and then size and in this drop down menu here you can choose your page size. So if you live in Australia like I do you'd go with A4, if you're in the US you go with letter size, I've also got A5. Now you probably notice that half US letter size is missing. Do not fret, there is a more paper sizes function and you can enter in the dimensions there. So I know I'm going to get asked this so I'll just answer it before someone asks the question. How can I make a printable for my happy planner or other type of planner which is like seven by nine, you know, medium print, um, planner size. So yes, you can set up your printable to be at that size using this menu here, which will automatically change it to that page size, but I don't recommend doing that. Now, the reason being is because you can't just go to the shop and buy a ream of paper that is already cut at that page size. I also find if I print directly onto the finished page size, that it can be, um, like things can get cut off, it can be a bit hit and miss, like um, it can slip a bit in my printer. I prefer to just use a full page size and then resize it when I go to print it. So when you go to file print and then in your printer menu there's an option to choose what page size you want to print it at and it will automatically shrink your design to that page size and then you'll end up with a gap, like a bit on the top and the side and then you can just trim the printable and you'll have your finished page size that way. Also gives you the option to resize it to multiple different page sizes. So if you're using a mini happy planner and a classic one, you could use the same printable that you've made at letter size and just change the page size when you go to print it. So basically long winded um, reasoning, choose letter size is what I would recommend like your full page size. Now you can change orientation to landscape. I tend to use that if I'm doing a one page printable. Otherwise I tend to just use portrait. Next thing you wanna do is set up your margins. So this will be like your print boundaries. So most printers will not have a borderless function. So I don't recommend designing to the very edge of the page. Um, you can change your margins here in custom margins. The default that Word has is way too big in my opinion. 2.54 is a huge margin and it wastes a lot of space that you could use like you know extend your lines further and fit more on the page. I would recommend going with a 0.5 inch on all of them. So I just paste that to all of them there. You can see how it's updating down the bottom showing um, how like far on the page it will extend and then you hit OK and you notice your little mouse moves up further so that's how big my margin is going to be. Now I use disc bound systems. I do not use through ring binders. I absolutely hate them. I never use them. They are just such a pain. The rings are huge. They cut so far into the page. It's just irritating like when you gotta click them all the time. It's just, ugh, I hate it. So if you did want to use a three ring binder though, you haven't seen the light and gone to the way better disc bound system, you can change the margins here 
um, and like add more on the left or the right. Similarly, if you're doing a printable, especially like a two page spread, and you know how you've got the section where you're going to put the holes on one side of the page. So if this is your left, your holes are going to go here. If this is your right side of your page, it's going to go on here. You can set your document up to have um, your spacing, you know, for your left and your right as being bigger than your top and your bottom if you wanted to do that. And then you can change which um, pages you want it to apply to as well and then hit OK. Okay, so um, the other thing that I really hate about Word which was in this newer version is this spacing really it drives me bonkers because it's such a huge gap between the lines of text it's really irritating so to get rid of that you can press Control a and it'll highlight everything in your document and then you can change that to zero and now it's back to normal and looks a lot better um, the other thing in this menu is the align tool which is very similar to Photoshop one of my favorite um, type of tools for making printables but I'll show you how to do that in another tutorial because this will get too long if I start going through every single tool. So um, back to the home menu here, you've got all your text tools, which I'm assuming you've used before. I will do another tutorial on that, but um, you know they're there. It's pretty obvious. You can change color, change font style, size, styling, etc. In the insert menu is where you can put in um, page breaks if you want to separate formatting so like you want your default um, footers on this one to be different to this one here if you were adding like a little copyright um, notice or you wanted like page numbering or something down the bottom you can insert tables I'll do that in another video you can insert um, pictures if you want a clip art which always looks cute on your printables you can add shapes over here you can add your footer so you could add some um, text so if you had your um, printables organized by category so instead of color coding you just wanted to put a little note down the bottom here like you know this is budget and then when you quickly flip through your planner you can just look for ones that have budget in the footer to find what you're looking for easier um, you can also add page numbers as well if you wanted to do that you just click that and it'll apply it to your document text box tool I always use that and then in the design menu you can choose different colors that'll be a whole nother um, video you can add page borders if you want that on your design. So let's just say I went with box and hit OK. See how it's now automatically added that to my printable if you wanted to add a border. Otherwise, you can just turn that off. You can add um, different colors to your page. So if you wanted to color code a um, notes piece of paper, you could color code your lines or you could just color code the entire page and use white lines. Or you could go gray. I personally just prefer to keep it at white. I uh, went through the layers menu. I don't use any of that for printables. That's more for using Word how it's intended for. In the view menu, I just have it on these settings here. If you wanted to, you could do multiple pages. And then if I made a new page, it'll pop up beside it rather than below it. And then I don't use any of this other stuff. So that's basically it for how to set up your document. And then I'll have more tutorials on each of the different tools um, as well.